Hi, Anwar here. Birds of a feather flock together. When people of the same frequency come together, there is always the opportunity for good to happen. It's good if they accentuate the good they have within them. Some might engage in cheap trills that will cause damage to themselves or to humanity. Hobbies are good until they are used to injure others. There are norms in society that one has got to watch out for. They may push the young and innocent to accept something like smoking, substance abuse, alcohol, pranking, or mindless acts beyond the limits of decency. As if there is an unwritten code in society that says, don't be a prude. If you're not in, you're out. Those who are able to cope with that will say, so what? There will be people in every generation scattered across the spectrum from recluse to popular in a self-obsessed way. Most choose to be in the middle for safety reasons until one is pulled or pushed towards one extreme or the other. The litmus test whether an activity is acceptable to a responsible adult or otherwise can be used as an indicator. When caught in the moment, people fooling around can go to the extremes, even though in the beginning, things may seem harmless. Boundaries, if not set, might lead to unwanted outcomes. Set limits of time, extent of exposure, and the point when you must walk away before unhealthy competition or other unintended consequences of being in the wrong place at the wrong time reaches the point of no return, which no one can foresee. If one is lost in the crowd, clueless as to one's choice of right or wrong, it is always good to go with one's conscience. When the mind is noisy, address the soul in the other, soul to soul. Conscience has led more souls out of dangerous situations than one can count. When all else fail, consult your conscience.